Hello, this is LJ Bothell, and this is a Microsoft Excel video on data linking. And this process should work regardless of the operating system. I'm going to show you just a few examples of it, three examples of how to do it. And then you can apply it to any of your um, textbook activities or to your uh, homework assignments. So what I have open here is a basic table of information. And the columns that I have um, with green in here is information that I want to take and I want to put on another spreadsheet over here. And the thing is that I might have to change some of this information at any time, and yet I want to be able to have this information separated over onto this January points sheet so that I can look at it in a different way. And if I were to come over here and simply copy and paste this information, then if it turned out that the Jorgensen's last name was misspelled, I'd have to go to two separate sheets to make that change. That's really annoying especially if you end up with a multiple sheet, a multiple, many, many columns, and many, many rows of tables to work with. So you want to be able to learn how to do some data linking from one place to another. It's actually a lot simpler than it might sound. It uses a super basic formula, and we're going to learn it. So what I'm going to do over here is I want to catch the January points. So I'm only interested in this data range here of points accumulated in January. Well, it says the enrollment date, but this is the date we have to work with. So I'm really only interested in these dates, and that happens to be about 11 rows. And I want to bring this information over here. So first thing I'm going to do is say, you know, in this cell, I need to get some data from over here, this cell because I want to be able to have a row of them, then the row of the students, then the row of the points. So I need Excel to say, okay, the content of this cell is going to be equal something, but it's not going to be equal a calculation like 2 plus 3 equals 5. It's going to be equal, meaning that the conditions of this cell are going to change based on I, the user, telling it to do something. So the contents of this cell are going to be equal to what I tell it to do. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find this enrollment date, which happens to be the first one in the list happens to be cell E5. So I'm going to come back over here and say, no, I don't want that. I say, how? well, actually, I'm going to have to do this. I would say equals E5, but that wouldn't do any good because there's nothing in E5 except date. And that doesn't really work out. So what I need to do is actually do something even simpler. I'm going to come over here, I've got my equal sign, then I'm going to come over to 2022, and I'm going to click in this cell. And what's happening is it's going and it's looking in the sheet named 2022 for the cell E5. And I'm going to click enter, and there it is. Ha! Huh, super simple. It doesn't seem like it because it's like you have to kind of keep your mind working on, okay, what do I need next? I need this cell to be equal to the content of this cell. <gasps> okay, but can I do this even more efficiently? Sure. I'm going to copy this formula and I'm going to paste it down nine more nine more rows. Why nine more? Because when I had come over here and selected, there were 11 total and I'd already done two of them. So here we are. Very simple. Next, I want the student that goes with this date. So in here, I need to type equals and then move over to the very first student, last name that I've highlighted in green, click that once, click enter, and there it is. And then I'm going to do the same thing with points. I'm going to click the equal sign. The points that belong to Seagal for the date of uh, enrollment date of 1-1-22 78 points here. I'm going to click enter. And there we are. Then I'm going to copy both of these and I'm going to paste them down. And now I have the information data linked to that other sheet. Now the neat thing is that you can actually do the same thing from 
other workbooks. I mean, technically 2022 could be in a separate workbook. I could open it up and then January points could be in a separate workbook. I would put the equal sign over there and then I would go over to the other workbook, click on the link and then hit enter. And then it would fill in the data and it would simply tell me what workbook, then what worksheet and then what cell number. So it's actually a really easy way to do this. This is not the same as a VLOOKUP. We're not looking up data to get it from somewhere else based on a certain criteria. We are simply saying, hey, can you link this cell to that cell and give it the same information? Now, why is this really useful? Well, it turned out that um, hmm, this person's last name was actually misspelled. So it needs to have an A at the end of it. So I'm going to change that. And then I'm going to come over here and it's changed over here. Over here, it looked like that this person, Jordan Seagal, actually should have gotten 98 points. So I'm going to change that there. And there they are here. So it's as simple as that. So when I refer to data linking or click linking, or, uh, you know, it's as easy to do as that. You also can actually write it as a formula. When you look at it and you see how this formula is written, you can actually handwrite this formula yourself as well. Anyway, I hope this is a useful tip for you. Thank you. Very